What is going on everybody? It is the Phantom Michael bringing you the next episode of our Pokemon Legends Arceus Soul Link Challenge. Of course, I'm joined with the one, the only, DJ Spinda. What's going on guys? DJ Spinda here. Dylan, so we did a little bit of off-screen playing around. I did catch the Luxray and paired it with Dylan's Ursa Ring. Um, the team, excuse me, is on the layout down below. Please check that out for reference. Um... On the last episode, guys, we did not catch or do anything related to the story, which we both regret. Um, anyway, Dill, are you ready to uh, try to do some story stuff and take on one of the final bosses of the game? We're going to get clapped. Probably because we have a battle coming right up here. Yeah. Um, in the last episode, we did lose a pair, so if you want to see that, go ahead and check it out. Um, yeah. Yeah. Dylan just doesn't know how to play Pokemon for <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> just got over being triggered in the last episode. We don't need to bring it back. No, you're right. Um, terrible. Um, so, I did catch a Gligar in a location, and Dylan has a couple options for, like, a nose pass or something. But there is a Gibble, and me and him both feel like this Gibble we could force into the Celestic Ruins. Um, for a proper repair. Speed, that's a, such a dude. I'll rip. I'm going to go back and front and catch that glass core. But here they are right here. Gibble and uh, Gabite here. But um, if Gabite wasn't as... Oh my goodness, dude. Just knocked me right off the horse. Um, if Gabite wasn't as strong as it is, we might stand a chance to, to add that to the team with the Gliger pair. But uh, right now, it's just not feasible. Um, and the other Pokemon here are kind of lackluster. I mean... Our only options are really pseudo wudo or, in fact, a gosh diggity darn um, nose pass, which you know probo pass wouldn't be the worst thing in the I world. I also but found it's out not that able. Slagoo has to be level 50 or higher to oh. actually evolve in the rain. So we still mm. don't have a Gudra. Dylan, we do have a battle right here, my man. Are you? Not ready for it. Absolutely. I gotta go. I got. I gotta do Star Raptor, bro. Yeah, I mean, I've got. I've got my my other. I've got the other half of Star Raptor. Uh, the other half of Star Raptor at the front of my party right now too. I mean, the funny thing is, I had to level up uh, Togepi mm -hmm. so much to get it evolved before. Um, so it ended up being like way over leveled, but it was just a Togepi, so it didn't really matter, you know. And now, and then, and then it evolved into Togetic, and I kept using it until I was able to get the shiny stone, which I did in the last episode, if you guys saw that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, and now it's a level 52, uh, Togekiss, so. Goodness gracious. Yeah. So, they're leading with a skunk tank, my friend. Oh, so I probably don't want to lead um, with my fairy type. Probably don't want to. Um, and I just realized that just looking at my team, I have a, I kind of deal rope like a dark poison type is absolutely dangerous to me yeah just like a rock ground type is dangerous to me hmm my whole team gets bodied by like an onyx <laughs> yeah he heck even a steelix something that's got ground and rock type moves mm -hmm. normally is, is oh, gonna be yeah. a problem for me dylan are you ready to are you, oh are you should i catch this nose pass real quick do you want to or do you want to try the gibble later once we're strong oh you're okay that's the same area okay I thought that was a different area. Oh, I see a wisp up here. Might as well grab those. Still while loving I'm here. my shiny. What is it? A wisp. I said I might as well grab those while I'm here. A oh, wisp. What Pokemon is that? Electrode. No, no, no. I'm talking about on the statues up there. Is that a Gibble? I don't know. I'll have to look when I get closer to mine. It looks like a Gibble, dude. I'm not sure. Could this be a a future Pokemon? A Gen Is it Flay Nine. Coco? It kind of looks like Flay Coco. <laughs> you see that? Uh, I'm not there yet, but I mean. I'm, I'm... Oh no! What did you just Locked jump into the battle? Oh, I got too close. What area is this? There's gases in here. Can catch those. This has been one of the hardest. Until we do our, our radical red, so <laughs> <laughs> now you're just being silly. Okay, so we're not leading with Toga Raptor, unless they don't lead. And unless they don't lead with the. 
Uh, but I think I think Rhyhorn's gonna be the best play here if they're gonna actually use Probably. Stun Tank. Can Rhyhorn just evolve off Rip right now? Uh, probably after one level, I would imagine. Because it doesn't show that it can right now. Alright, well, okay. here we go. To our dooms, we go. To find out. Are you sure we actually battle? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yep, okay. Level 60. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> like, dude, what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, he's got two Pokemon. Gosh. Oh, he's got three Pokemon. Three. Oh, three. oh my God, I hate Mike. This game. I hate this game. Mine has three also. And there's I the hypnosis. So much. I avoided it. Okay. Um, I don't know what Stun King just used, but it did about half. So this is where I'm at. I could close combat strong style, probably Oko Skunk Tank, probably. But if I don't Oko it, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna die. Yeah. Because my defense will be dropped. I think I'm gonna heal and just see what happens. Question mark. I mean, I can't live a hit right now anyway, and I don't think I'm gonna one shot uh, Stun Tank on four levels under. Dude, that's so much damage. Night Slash does half. That's what he's using. Night oh. Slash. Dylan. Oh, strong style. It's over. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, I just evolved Toga to Togekiss. Oh my lord. Hey, go out to you. Dude, I hate this game so much. Dude. I don't know what we're going to do. Oh, I can't go out to my my grass fighting type. Can't go to my grass fighting type because if I don't kill it, it's dead. Okay, so here's my... Um, we're, we're both in a dilemma right now. So what I'm going to try to do... I, I Odds are, the stunk tank is going to kill me with a night slash. But... I gotta take something out. I can't just heal stall because I'm going to get destroyed. I think I just need to try to I hate this game take right. out the Zubat. You know how easy this game would be if it played fair? Dude, it's insane. I don't understand the... 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 Look at this! If I can't go, I just I just sacrificed... Real, uh... Oh, dude. If I heal right now, I'm still, I'm still probably gonna die. Mm. I'm gonna try to heal to see if that's the appropriate play. Um, to see if maybe nothing attacks me again. Yeah, I'm hoping for that hypnosis. Is what I'm hoping for. It keeps going. I took okay. Okay, we, we took that better. I'm dead. I'm dead. It, Venishok did so much damage. I literally sacked Octillery uh, for no reason. What was Octillery linked with? Drift Blimp. Mm. Okay. Well, maybe we don't make it out of this battle. Dude, I don't think we do, bro. Oh, my Lanta. I'm going to Murkrow. If this was a Rhydon I had with me instead of a Rhyhorn that was underleveled, I think I could have done this. Right now, I'm struggling massively. Alright. This is what I gotta do, Deal. I'm gonna knock out Skaroopy. Gotcha. Because I don't think I can knock out Skunk Tank, but at least knocking out one of the three... Like, because that Venoshock does so much damage. Oh, yeah. And I need to get rid of the the, the big threat on... No, I need, I need to swing. Oh, for... oh Rhyhorn's dead. Rhyhorn's dead. Yep. Oh, I didn't kill it. Okay. I think my next logical choice is Gudra. Bro, you gotta go into that because it might resist all the poison. It's steel type. Yeah, I know, but that Night Slash does work. So I can't go into Chimehorn because Rhy Rhyhorn's dead. Exactly. I only have, dude, I literally have two Pokemon left. So do you. Wait, you, we've lost four? Did you lose three? I yes. haven't lost one. Star Raptor died. Uh, freaking Octillery died because I got attacked three times uh -huh, when it uh -huh. came out. Healed and then died again. Okay. And then I just lost Murkrow. You lost three Pokemon. Three, bro. Three. <sighs> I, I have to go into... I have to go into... 
uh, my my grass fighting. Okay, I have to pay attention here. Something happened to my Gudra that like did a lot of damage. I gotta see what that was. Okay, there's bite. That's a bit. Zubat's looking around. Stunk tank night slash. Oh my lord, dude. That's not even fair. Stunk tank night slash does that much? Well, this... Dude, if Zubat just looks around. Oh my goodness. I just lost. <sighs> so now I can't even use my Gudra anyway. Awesome. Here's my last chance. Here's the last ditch effort right here, bro. And this Pokemon's defense is hot trash. Now that I've taken out, um, if this ancient power hits, we'll be good. Okay, it did hit. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. If if you can survive with Luxray, we will yeah, win. Yeah. I haven't done a single... I haven't done one one offensive move in this battle, Mike. Oh, my God. It, well, it might be over now if because the way... Okay, he missed two. Okay, and I got the Omni Boost with uh, Ancient Power. I don't even get to attack, dude. It's over. Nope. It's over. Why? Poison Jab! Why did I it do won. more than half? Mike, I'm not gonna win this. I'm all out of potions. You got no Pokemon left, because I fucking... All, all I have is Lux, is Lux Mega, and they're just gonna all three attack me and kill me. Okay, there's an Agile style, so he'll get to attack several times. There's Venoshock. And I'll get poisoned here, eh? Nope. Oh. There's Poison Jab. And I'm dead. That's it. it does more than half. That's Great. fucking Fantastic. retarded. Okay. Well. Literally, I. I if I would have switched into. The only thing that I think would have. That could have saved us right there is if I would have attacked with Artillery instead of tried to heal it. Yeah, I had several. That might have changed. I, said, I had several moments. I should have just attacked. I should have went balls deep with with Rhyhorn and gotten rid of something, anything, just just anything would have been fine. Jeez. Well, it's been fun, Dylan. Yeah, this sucks. Um, this is the hardest. It's stupid. It doesn't make sense. Done. Yeah, one of the the most challenging. If several things that could have made this better, obviously diversity was the first thing. Uh, type diversities and stuff. It, it was very hard for pairings, but uh, the other thing that could have helped out a lot is if it made it to where, for some reason the battle mechanics, bro. So we're like I, the the strong style, agile style stuff's cool, but what I mean is I don't understand the why do moves do so much damage now? Mm -hmm. Like it just it's weird. Like I, there has to be something that I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb, but I've, I've played a lot of battles, dude. Like a lot, even VGC stuff. And that shit just does not make no, any it, sense to me. The the, bat, the damage calculations in this game are... They've thrown everything they knew out the window and did this. It makes yeah. no sense. There is no reason... I know it's Stab. I know it's a Stung Tank. I was two levels higher. And I was a Luxray. And it did way more than half. Like, it almost one-shot me. Kind of... Kind of dumb. And before that, I was out with the Rhyhorn. I know I was four levels under. But Rhyhorn, if you look at his defenses... Look at, look at Rhyhorn's defenses. 130 physical defense. He was hitting me with Poison Jab. And doing Which more... This? He was hitting me with Night Slash. And doing more than half. And I'm 130 physical defense with 168 HP. And he's doing more than half. That's insane. It doesn't make sense. Yep, nope. Well, we do appreciate everybody that's been following along with the episodes, though. Man, this... That's been pretty I'm great. salty, dude. This is stupid. Yeah. Maybe Drapion was my play, but I I think you lost your Murkrow fairly early on, too. I did, well, yeah. That was a Pokemon I lost before that. And Murkrow didn't even... You know, I gave it one Hail Mary. It didn't even work. All Agile style Sword Dance. Mm -hmm. See, you can't stack in this game, that I don't think, either. Yeah, because you lose yep. it, like it automatically yep. disappears on you like a turn or something. Yep. Alright, we eat that up. Man, this was the play here, Mike. I am going to take out the... Well, I can't do much to... Actually... You know what, let's just go for Stunk Tank here. x full full force. What does it do? See, now if that was the other way around, and I had a Stunk Tank against a, uh, uh, an X-Scissoring... Look at, look at that! 
No, I'm staying flamethrower! Yep, and then you're about to die. I mean, I'm knocking this sun thing out right now. But I'm not gonna make it through this turn. See, if, if, I, had ma if I had made this play, look, here's Gust. Oh, look at that. Dead. Oh, I live. See, now, I don't have any potions left because I used them all. I got little baby potions. It's probably not worth my time to use it, but I'm gonna try it. Now my stats return to normal. See, it's so unfair. It's, it's so... It, the game is stacked so against you. It's ridiculous. Yep. It's absolutely insane. Dang. Oh. See, if you could have kept Murkrow alive, this could have been my play. Dude, knowing this game, though, here's what, here's what makes no sense. In what universe in any Pokemon game ever could you potentially have a level 41 Drapion lose to a 22 Scroopy? Look at this! Well, yeah, that's that's stupid! He's using a Poison-type move on a Poison and Dark-type that's 20 levels over him! And it does that much damage! Never in the world of Pokemon ever would this situation nope. be a thing. Look at this. <sighs> what am I supposed to do? I... Uh, maybe I'll one-shot him here. I don't know. You know what? As much as... Oh, you know what? I get two moves in a row. I'm just going full forward. Full, full send. Let's go. Oh... Oh, oh, I got rid of my drowsiness. Okay. We're going strong style. We're biting. We're getting this thing out of here. Dang. And the soul link continues. <laughs> the soul link continues. <laughs> my goodness. We technically both made it through the battle, Mike. We technically did both make it through the battle. Mm. So tilted. And if we were on the up and up and uploading this, and it was like, this will be uploaded like tomorrow, and it'll be current, I would say, hey, let's make a poll. You guys vote. Do you want us to just grab a brand new team of six and grind them up like crazy and push this thing till the next battle when we lose again? Mm. <laughs> we literally have no shot at ever winning this game. Ever. Zero. None. We said that a long time ago when we were playing this. I, I said that... I was optimistic when we first started. When we first started recording, I was actually midway through the game. And then now that we've... Now that we're here, I've already beaten the game and completed the Pokedex. And I now I know for a fact... There's no way. That there's no way that we could beat uh, the final boss. Yeah. Um... You did lose Luxray and you did lose Rhyhorn, so it is over, yep. unfortunately. But it was it was a different experience. It was a new challenge of Pokemon, I'll tell you that. So that that did you know make it interesting for me. But um, you know, it uh, if this game was set up with the same type of damage counters, etc., as the other games, we definitely would have fared way better. Obviously, yeah, stuff um, just didn't make sense. It doesn't make sense in this game. Yeah. In in the just the damage calculation of this game. I don't. I'm gonna. I'm just curious. While we're recording here, I'm just gonna Google. We we why we talked about it a lot when we first started this too. We did because we were like, th there were moments where we were like, dude, okay, I, I literally just about died to a Starly that used Gust on a Rock type. You know, like you almost lose a Geodude to a Starly, and you've got 15 levels on that Starly. Like what? That's where. Let's let's read this. That's where, like, old Pokemon games, if a Starly used Gust on a on a Geodude that was 10 levels above it, it'd do almost nothing. In this game, it'd probably do half. Okay, so, this is what, let's, let's read what this comment says. It goes, uh, I'm pretty early into the game, about an hour in, and I've noticed the damage in the game is a bit off. When I, what I mean is that a level 2 Bidoof are consistently doing enough damage to get my level 12 Cyndaquil to half HP with one tackle. Yep. This isn't just Bidoof, but most Pokemon. Yet, when I use Pokemon of similar level, a level 3 Drifloom, for example, they do far less damage. Has anyone else experienced this? And, uh, a lot of people 
um, just say that, yeah, absolutely. The stat calculation go a few changes with this game. Generally, levels seem to matter less to the calculation now, and all Pokemon are a bit uh, tankier. They also completely replaced the IV EV system with effort levels. Yep. No wild Pokemon can spawn with better effort levels than yours, boosting their stats. You're not also keeping up. So you're saying before this battles, we should have just um, dumped a bunch of grit dust on our Pokemon, which we did, which we didn't do. Also, we didn't go and like craft, you know, like the dire hits and the and the the defense buffs and stuff like that. We should have done all yep. of that. Like, if we actually yeah. wanted to have a chance in this, we should have went crazy, and we didn't. They are they are speculating and saying that wild Pokemon are generally tankier, and uh, so any any battles, your your the enemy Pokemon are tankier than you, but no Pokemon have higher effort levels so they just have a, a defense buff is what people are speculating but i'm not entirely sure all i know is that i've played enough pokemon to know that some re for some <laughs> this reason is not the right. damage calcs <laughs> is weird yeah and if if someone noticed it an hour into the game that something was weird and i've heard other other content creators mention that they thought the uh the battle mechanics were off so not surprised and that's why it took me forever to beat the uh you know, the final boss using a team of similar levels. So, but um, I think we're going to call it there, Dill. What do you think? Yeah, I'm getting my team out for one last hurrah here. Yeah. One last, uh, one final goodbye. Um, but yeah, if you guys all did enjoy this, please smash that like button. Support is always greatly appreciated. Um, be sure to check out DJ Spinda's channel. You know, we do a ton of collabs with Dylan. So uh, be sure to go check that out. Um, this game was just harder, man. It was just it was just a different breed of Pokemon game, you know. It wasn't one yeah, of those at, situations where we right lost now. because of you know bad luck or lost because of um, you know something stupid. And this is like, the first game that we ever had that we had a legit shiny added to the pair. So <laughs> Mike, look at Slagoo right now, <laughs> hiding in the shell. It's just the shell. Look how look how big and beefy my team is though. Like look at them. Yeah. In any other Pokemon game, if you roll up with this team, you're clapping people. Yeah, easily. A whole Drapion, easily. a Togekiss, a uh, Luxray. For, oh, dude, look at look at Drapion. He just laid down. Look at him. Yeah, uh, this game is gorgeous Drift and Blim, awesome. uh, a potential Gudra, and then a Rhyperior, mm -hmm. potentially. I even have the Protector Mike. Oh, mm -hmm. man, we, we fumbled, man. We... Honestly, the only way we do anything in this game, and it wouldn't even really matter that much, is if we just got 10 levels above wherever everybody else was going to be in the game. Still probably yeah. wouldn't matter, honestly. No. Because I had a level 52 Togekiss, and it would have gotten completely bopped by that level 44 um, Stunk Tank with Poison Jab. 100%. Easy. We probably would have been one shot, which makes no sense, because that yeah. would never happen. For sure. That would never happen. And, and, and even my Drift Blim, like, probably wouldn't have taken the, the Night Slash very well either. Absolutely. But, yeah, there's my squad. Dude, that is a that is a sweet squad, too. My goodness. Yeah, for a change, like, mine actually looked better than yours. <laughs> yeah. If you if you had well, Haunch Crow and, and you had, well, Chimeco's kind of booty cheeks, but... Yeah. Oh, yep. man. That is such garbage, dude. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but if you guys did enjoy this, please smash the like button. Support is always greatly appreciated. Be sure to join us for the next challenge coming up. We don't know when, <laughs> but uh, definitely somewhere in the future. But with that, everybody, I've been the Phantom Michael. That's DJ Spinner. We're going to get the heck out of here, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Later.